Mission granted. Testing one, two, three. Thank you, JROTC Color Guard. Please be seated for the introduction of our senior class. Our processional will be performed by the Albert Gallatin High School Concert Band.
Will the audience please stand for, for the Pledge of Allegiance and please stand in for the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Class of 2017 and the audience, please be seated. Thank you. I would like to share a quote from former President Ronald Reagan. This quote exemplifies the idea of staying loyal to your values and always being true to yourself. Freedom is the right to question and change the established way of doing things. It is the continuing revolution of the marketplace. It is the understanding that allows us to recognize shortcomings and seek solutions. It is the right to put forth an idea scoffed at by the experts and watch it catch fire among the people. It is the right to follow your dream or stick to your conscience even if you're the only one in the sea of doubters. Thank you. We spent the last 13 years getting ready for tonight, and now here we are, all dressed up and ready to walk across the stage. Tonight, as we look forward, we are also looking back and wondering where time has gone. As the historian of the senior class, I assure you our time here at Albert Gallatin has been spent making memories that will provide our foundations as we head into the world. There are so many memories we have shared during our years here at Albert Gallatin High School trying to find the pool freshman year, suffering through Keystone exams sophomore year, finally not having to ride the bus because we earned that coveted parking pass. Our victory over Uniontown that past year in football, the weather was terrible, but the students stayed to cheer our team on to victory. Our girls volleyball and softball teams both making it to playoffs this year. Good luck at States, Cassie and Summer. The final moments of prom, Hershey Park, and now this evening's important celebration. In closing, we come together this evening, a product of not only our successes, but also our failures. So I close with an inspirational quote from Michael Jordan that shows if success will come after failure. Keep trying. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 
26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and miss. I failed over and over and over again in my life, and that's why I succeed. I would now like to introduce our assistant principals, Ms. Lara Bizak and Mr. Brian Reams. Senior Class Vice President, Jackson Copus. And the Senior Class President, who will welcome everyone to this evening's ceremony, Devin Colbank. Hello, my name is Devin Colbank, and I'm your Class President. I'm here to give you one of the hardest goodbyes and most awkward hellos. My purpose is to welcome, yet also say farewell. So as I offer this bittersweet welcome to everyone this evening, let us also show some appreciation to the people that helped us reach this milestone. First I welcome the guided ones. First I welcome the ones who guided us through messy diapers and boogers, but especially that dumb boy who dumped you. Mothers and grandmothers, stand up please. Mothers and grandmothers. Now I welcome the people that taught you how to throw a ball, appreciate a good Steelers football game, and most, important, and most importantly, they readily ste stepped up to threaten the void that dumped you. Will all the dads and grandfathers please stand? Our parents have been everything. They provided the foundation we stand on now and the character that will help us get to where we are going. Besides the parents that helped us have, get to the school, we also have surrogate parents that spend eight hours each day with us. I'd like to welcome the teachers, guidance counselors, staff, and school board members that help us celebrate today. I am thrilled to be your president. My time in this role has led me down a new path where I hope to continue in a leadership role of a different sort. The military was the biggest step I have made as a young 17 year old. And as I weighed out the options, I now see it may have been the hardest decision I've had to make. But I am so grateful to, to, for the opportunity to serve this country. With that being said, I would like to welcome and honor any service members here today and the veterans that are not with us such today as fellow graduate, father, Master Sergeant Arthur L. Lilly. Will all the current service members and veterans here today stand up? So I leave you my 2017 graduating class. Are you strong enough? Doubting is for the week. Maybe it's death, maybe a loss of a job, but never stop being good and never stop believing in yourself. It gets hard sometimes, I know. The doubt will suck the life out of you. Why doubt? We live, we learn. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. I'd like to end my quote with a quote by Kanye West. If I have the opportunity to play this game of life, you need to appreciate every moment. A lot of people don't appreciate the moment until it is passed. Thank you. I'll see you guys in a couple years when I have reached all my goals and you have reached yours. I would like to introduce our principal, Jason Hutchison. Thank you. Good evening. I welcome all of you as we prepare to honor the Albert Gallatin class of 2017. 
Thank you for your attendance, as it is an indication of the support that has been given to these students over the years. The very support that has enabled them to get to this triumphant point in their lives. The class of 2017, what can I say but thank you. Thank you very much. You are not a flashy group or a class that caused trouble or even complained. What you were was hardworking, dedicated, and a group that just got the job done. And for that, give yourselves a round of applause. Your class has endured tragedy, seen the student parking lot finally get paid. You were a part of Snowmageddon this past year that never came. And I believe that your group was inventor of the cafe clap. That annoying clap. That annoying clap that someone starts in the cafe for no reason. So, for a good time's sake, let's do it one more time. How hard in your dedication has shown when the chillers went down yesterday at 1.40 and you followed what you have done for the last four years. You got the job done. I can't say enough about this group. As you go through life, you will have your ups and downs just as you did at Albert Gotham High School. What I want you to remember is to keep fighting the good fight and to get, continue to get the job done as you did here. As Frank Ocean said, work hard in silence, let your success be your noise. All of which brings us to now. Your four year journey with me as your principal has led us to this, your graduation day. Today marks the start of an exciting chapter of your lives. Take a moment and revel in what will be the beginning of the road to many hard earned accomplishments. Some will be leaving home and going away to college. Some will be establishing the groundwork for their chosen occupation. Some will suit up and embark on a fundamental stage of their military career. Whatever path you have chosen, take comfort in knowing that you are prepared for this next stage of your life. You have unknowingly been working towards this moment your entire lives. Speaking of your lives, they have truly just started and the best is yet to come. With the knowledge and wisdom you have gained in Albert Gotham, you will be capable of accomplishing any goals and dreams you have set for yourself. And to you, the graduating class of 2017, I wish you all the best that this world has to offer. I have enjoyed every moment of our four years together. As Abraham Lincoln said, when you reach the end of your rope, tie a knot and hang on. Best of luck, and thank you. It is now my privilege to introduce the superintendent of schools, Mr. Carl Bezak. Thank you, Mr. Hutchinson. Good evening. And it is my privilege to introduce the members of the Albergotten Area School Board. Our board members are just ordinary citizens. Your friends, neighbors, with extraordinary dedication to our community and our children. They provide a vital service to our district. They face complex and demanding challenges Yet few people fully understand the scope of their responsibilities. As citizens who serve young people in their communities, our school board members volunteer 
countless hours. As a board, they work together as a team towards the common goal of providing the best possible educational experiences for our students. Because of their leadership, our programs and facilities are continuously being improved in a safe and fiscally responsible manner. Please join me as we recognize and thank the members of the Albergallaton Area School Board. President, Mr. Paul Dunn. Vice President, Mrs. Betty Mosher. Secretary, Mr. Edward Colvin. Treasurer, Mr. Ken Plisco. Board member, Mr. Michael Donna. Board member, Mr. David Howard. Board member, Mr. Jeff Myers. Board member, Mr. Doug Schultz. Board member, Mrs. Janet Swain. I feel very fortunate to once again have the opportunity to address this year's graduating class. Their parents, families, principals, teachers, and friends. Your graduation today concludes the final chapter with your education at Albert Gallatin. You are our greatest resource in the county. This ceremony is a celebration of what you have accomplished and the knowledge you have acquired through diligent years of preparation for your new adventure. Your parents and families have strived to give you the support and encouragement necessary for you to be successful with whatever you may attempt to achieve in life. They have always believed in your abilities and will always be there to help you through difficult times. Please remember their sacrifices as you venture towards your future. A parent's love is unconditional. Your accomplishments and happiness in life are their rewards. And I always conclude by saying, life outside of Albert Gallatin will be different. You'll find life is not obligated to give you what you expect. Rather, life will expect something of you and you will have to discover what it should be. Go out this evening and have fun. Enjoy your independence, but don't get caught in a continual search for finding life in all of the wrong places. Because you don't find a life, it's something great. Congratulations and good luck, Class of 2017. I'd like to introduce Assistant Principal, Mr. Witt. It is my pleasure to announce the senior speakers for the class of 2017. At this time, Jacob Cheslow will address the class and the members of the audience, followed by Kaylee Hitchcock.
In a 2005 commencement speech, Steve Jobs said, When I was 17, I read a quote that went something like, If you live each day as if it were your last, someday you most certainly be right. It made an impression on me, and since then, for the past 33 years, I have looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, if today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am about to do today? And whenever the answer has been no for too many days in a row, I know I need to change something. This anecdote sums up the points I wish to talk about. The first of which is the journey of life. We, as the class of 2017, are gathered here today to celebrate the milestone in life that is high school graduation. Yet as millions of others across the globe do the same, this celebration is just a flash in the pan. After you leave this field, no one will ever tell you when you're allowed to use the restroom. And by the way, remember to take your agenda there. No one is going to try to make you remember the Pythagorean theorem or that mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. After these gates close behind you, the path widens and diverges yet the terrain gets more challenging to navigate. You will no longer have a set schedule to follow 180 days of the year, dismissed by the sound of a bell. Rather, you will be in charge of your own destiny, being able to choose where to go, who to surround yourself with, and when to do all of this. It is integral to have a goal in mind, to know which way you wish to go in life. However, as Andrew Rooney said, everyone wants to live on top of the mountain, but all the happiness and growth occurs while you're climbing it. So don't forget to enjoy the journey, enjoy the hustle, and enjoy the chase while you are scaling the summit. The second point is that of change. Change to the status quo changes to the negativity in the world, and changes to yourself in the coming years. The status quo will try to pull you down and divert you from your goals and ambitions in life. In every step, there will be people who will wrongly tell you that something can't be achieved, tell you that change is a dangerous thing, tell you that your dreams are worth nothing, to be complacent in the world is to accept the nature of it, to accept all that is wrong and horrible in it. The abundance of this is not a reason to emote. Rather, it is a call to action. Don't let the drone of unachievers tell you what is or isn't possible, for everything is impossible until it is done. Determine your own legacy. Build it from your failures and fuel it by your deepest desires. Do not shun change, but actively accept it as an integral part of life. And do not fear failure, as we learn more from it than success. As Charles Darwin said, it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent but the one most responsive to change. The third is the inevitable portion of all of our lives, one that is the great equalizer of all life, death. Yet the end is not the determining factor of our lives. We all experience it at one time or another. We, as a class, have experienced death firsthand a little over a year ago with the all too quick passing of a beloved and talented individual. The fond memories that we hold on to of our friend Tyler Catlin illustrates that one's light is not extinguished when he passes. Rather, 
It proves that the actions we take when we are walking are the ones that define us. These footsteps are the legacy that we leave for future generations. Perhaps the best motivator of my life is to know that I too will take my last breath, as will everyone else on this field. As Banksy has said, you die twice, one when you stop breathing, and a second time when somebody says your name for the last time. Remembering that this fate awaits all of us is the best way to avoid the trap of believing that there is something to lose. There is no reason not to follow your heart into uncharted territory. With that, I want to leave one last bit of advice for you all. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Senior class officer, Bailey Hitchcock. Class of 2017, we have finally made it. This is our graduation day. While many parents have dreaded the coming of this day, and many teachers likely felt that it couldn't come soon enough, it is this moment that stands as the fruit of our efforts throughout the past 13 years. I feel that I speak for most of us in saying that this day has arrived sooner than we could have ever expected. Graduation is an event that many of us have looked forward to for the majority of our high school years, and it has remained a distant reality throughout our entire lives. This moment is one of the most significant in our lives thus far. Yet, just as the seasons change from spring to summer and fall to winter, this day too will come and go. A moment that we have worked toward throughout the past 13 years will tomorrow only remain in memories and photographs. As graduation ends, we ask ourselves, and then what? Some of us look toward college and meeting our first roommate, while others of us look toward joining the military or pursuing a career. However, just as graduation is here today and gone tomorrow, these moments that we now look forward to will also become a distant memory. In life, it seems that we always look toward the next moment, the next event, the next chapter, while standing idly by during the times that stand between these moments. Tolstoy once said that the only absolute knowledge attainable by man is that life is meaningless. If we were to take Tolstoy's advice, it is likely that our lives would be foolishly miserable. However, in light of the ever-changing nature of our lives and the constant coming and going of events, Tolstoy seems to pose a question that each of us will someday have to answer, if we have not already. What is it that gives meaning to our lives? Are we only living for the next great thrill that we'll experience, or is there something more? What is it that makes our moments matter? Graduation highlights our already achieved successes and accomplishments, and it allows us to envision the prosperity and wealth that we desire to achieve in the future. While we all have already experienced success and hope to achieve it in greater capacity, if we're honest, we realize that we may at times experience failure. We all want to experience success, but why should we build our lives on something so seemingly infrequent and unreliable? Francis Chan once said that our greatest fear should not be a failure, but of succeeding at things in life that don't really matter. Accumulating material possessions like money and fanciful cars may be desirable in the here and now, but who has ever seen a U-Haul following a hearse? So, if failure is inevitable and material success is only knee-deep, it is reasonable to say that there is nothing of this world that can give our lives meaning. What gives our lives meaning are not things of this world, but are of God and our divine. Class of 2017,
speaking, the most important message that I can personally give to you is this. You are loved by God. And you are so loved that God's Son, Jesus Christ, came to this planet to die for you so that you may experience a full, joy-filled life, both in the here and now and throughout eternity. It is in God that we can know what it is to be loved, and we can discover what it means to love others. It is through God that we find our purpose. And it is because of what Jesus has done for us that our lives can have meaning. To seek to love God above all else is a calling in which we know we will always have success. Perhaps we will not have success by the world standards, but it is when we know God that we can live selflessly, have joy, be kind, and live life abundantly. Class of 2017, even if you do not desire to know God, I still hope for you that you will find love and joy, and that it would be the ideal that will, that will allow you to make your mark on the world. You matter, you have a purpose, and you have an ability to touch the world in a way that no one else can. I leave you with a quote from Pablo Picasso. The meaning of life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. Congrats, Class of 2017. The future is yours. At this time, we will have the awarding of the diplomas by our school board president, Mr. Paul Dunham, our principal, and our assistant principals. Will the stage please stand? <laughs> Devin M. E. Colbank. <laughs> Jackson G. Copus. Clayton Michael Jenkins. Avery Page Arnold. Colton S. Bargafell. Jared William Bomarage. T. 
Tiffany Melina May Burden. Jacob S. Cheslow. Lindsay Katrina Coville. Leah M. Dice. Rebecca Amelia Fike. Toby Elizabeth France. Ireland Jade Hawk. Kaylee Morgan Hitchcock. Bailey Dawn Holt. Cassie Lynn Miller. Caitlin Ray Myers. Kyle A. Phillips. Franklin Piper. Brandy Faith Sumi. Morgan A. Melissa Victoria Anderson. Richard G. Anderson. Samantha Nicole Angeline. Damian Michael Angelo. Trinity Julian Ankrum. Jacob Ash. Joseph Michael Beatty the second. Dylan M. Berkshire. Berkshire. Brett the second. Julia L. Bissett. Gregory Bittinger. Samantha Dawn Black. Cassandra Ann Flystone.
Brandon Michael Bogus. Abigail Jean Borsodi. Paul H. Bowers. George Gilbert Bowman. Joseph Bowser. Gerald Alvey Broadwater III. Cheyenne M. Brooks. Tyler S. Bruce. Shay L. Briner. Courtney Taylor Bunsen. Peyton Jean Burkholder. Kayla Nicole Burwell. Royce Lee Buderbaugh. Anthony James Byers, Jr. David Campbell. Alyssa Ann Check. Samantha Ann Clark. Michaela P. Collins. Caitlin Page Conroy. Jessica K. Cora. Terry A. Crow. Billy B. Dalzell. Jacob Michael Deberry. Ryan M. Desco. Travis Ray Dice. Brian Charles Durst. Josie Ruth Engler. Sergio Lee Estrada. Theodore Lyman Ferrier III. Elijah James Farrow. Charles John Fetzner. Ethan Francis Fetzner. Bailey Ann Flowers. Zachary Scott Forsyth. A. Fowler. Oh, 
Justin Lee Fowler. Shauna Frederick. Roger W. Fry. Hannah Rebecca Friend. Savannah Marie Franze Leo. Lauren Brene Fuller. <laughs> Tiffany Rose Gatis. <laughs> Taylor Lee Geary. <laughs> Austin T. Gibson. Mason Keith Golden. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Goodwin. <laughs> Hannah Lynn Green. <laughs> Honor Lee Guthrie. Zachary Matthew Guzman. Ian Michael Hall. Michaela Lee Hall. Chelsea Brianne Ham. Rudolph Steven Hanses. Griffin Xavier Hartzik. Ronald D. Harwood Jr. Randy A. Hirsch. Hunter J. Hicks. Samuel A. Hillen. Hayden Shea Halatki. Roger Lee Halatki. Samuel Allen Halatki. Caitlin Ann Hoon. Savannah L. Hudson Pillar. <laughs> Brian Edward Ridland. <laughs> Amber N. Hughes. <laughs> Zachary R. Hughes. William Robert Hines. Colin Wayne Illion. Hunter A. Jarrett. Chelsea Lee Jensen.
Jonathan Matthew Johnston. Amy S. Jordan. Angel Marie Jordan. Danielle Marie Jordan. Randall E. Joseph. Rebecca Lee Jarosko. Nicole Ann Katalski. McKenna Marie Katona. Logan K. Jamie Ray Kelly. Jennifer Lynn Kelly. Dalton L. Kennedy. Darius A. Ketter. Alicia Tiger. Andrew W. King. Patrick Scott King. Amari Michelle Lee Kirby. Grant Thomas Kisner. Joseph Patrick Kissinger. Robert W. Clink II. Eden Page Coldis. Diana Marie Couture. Levi Kirkendall. Brittany N. Landman. Crystal Lash. Edward Lahue. Gage Michael Leach. Emily Dawn Ledbeer. Ronald Ledbeater. Shane Allen Leskin. Alyssa Nicole Lewis. Lindsay Marie Lewis. <laughs> Cole Jacob Lily. <laughs> Zachary Sebastian Lindsay.
William Lipscomb.
Norris. Dylan Joseph Over. Darian I. Palmer. Thomas Perota. Casey Dean Peebles. Brandon Lee Phillips. Jessica K. Pierce. Noel Perubski. <laughs> Bailey Nicole Powell. <laughs> Dylan M. Woolery. <laughs> Caitlin A. Rankin. Jeremy P. Rankin. Summer L. Rankin. Dalton Hunter Race. Seth Eugene Roth. <laughs> Tara Jo Breckner. <laughs> Tanner L. Reichoff. <laughs> Daphne Riser. Jacob Sebastian Robinson. <laughs> Serena Brian Rowland. <laughs> Kenneth W. Roar. Denver James Rollison. <laughs> Tyler J. Ross. Jared L. Rose. Taylor M. Rothermel. Richard Joseph Ryan Jr. Brandon Sand. Michael Sanders Jr. Monica Rose Saunders. Cody A. Savage. Abby Danielle Schroyer. Amber Lynn Schaefer. Cheyenne and 
shirt now. Marissa Michelle Schiff. Christopher James Chow. Justin T. Shriver. Dylan A. Schultz. Kylie Lakin Cecina. Zachary T. Smith. Joshua A. Smith. Julie Nicole Smith. Terry A. Smith the third. Caitlin Marie Snyder. Justice B. Snyder. <laughs> Jacob Hunter Stevens. Adam Francis Steiner. Cody Andrew Stroud. Jared Austin Sumi. Christopher Ryan Sutton. Faith Autumn Sutton. Jacob Dylan Sutton. Felicia E. Switowski. Zachary D. Tanner. Austin Aries T. Kelly T. Jillian Danielle Thomas. Jody Hannah Thomas. Alexis Cole Thompson. <laughs> Bailey Elise Thompson. <laughs> Thomas Joseph Toa. Megan Ann Umble. <laughs> Justin Van Divner.
Peter Austin Wesley Barto. David A. Wallace, Jr. Cynthia Renee Wardell. Elizabeth Nicole Warner. Brianna A. Weathers. Jason Wiles. Jeffrey Dale Williams, Jr. Dakota C. Wilson. <laughs> Joseph T. Wilson. <laughs> Taylor Raquel Wilson. Brandon Wilkes. Don Diego L. Wingfield. Destiny Lynn Wolf. Megan R. Wolf. Overton. <laughs> Leah Rosemary Woody. <laughs> Caitlin Marie Yanowski.
cadets, please come forward for the retiring of the colors. I would like to introduce to you once again our principal, Mr. Jason Hutchinson. The graduates may sit. Thank you, thank you, Ms. Cosman. A reminder to the audience that after the graduates leave the field, we will have the senior slideshow back here in the back. Uh, believe me, this outside graduation, a number of individuals were responsible for making tonight's commencement possible. I would like to collectively thank everyone for if, it, if I named each person, we would be here much, much longer, believe me. I truly appreciate all of you and the group effort it took to get to this point, so thank you. And now, 
At this time, with the class of 2017, please stand. Department of Education. I now pronounce you graduates of Abigail. 